He believes he's innocent. Uh, I believe he's innocent. And we're going to fight this case with all of our might until we don't have to fight any longer. So tell me about your birthday party. Am I invited? Yes. You know I have to arrive fashionably late. All right. Not too late, though. Not too late. In the midst of Diddy's ongoing legal drama, another surprising connection is grabbing attention in the entertainment world Ellen DeGeneres. Sources are buzzing about DeGeneres' ties to Sean Diddy. Holmes, especially after the release of an alleged list tied to Diddy that has sparked outrage and controversy. With the revelations pouring in, questions are surfacing about Ellen's involvement and the nature of their relationship. Ellen and Diddy have had a long-standing friendship that has recently raised eyebrows, both are major players in Hollywood known for their wealth, influence, and strong connections within the industry. Over the years, they've been seen together at various events, and Diddy has appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show numerous times, with their playful exchanges once viewed as harmless fun between two entertainment heavyweights. However, Diddy's legal issues have now put a spotlight on their friendship, with many wondering if there's more to their bond than meets the eye. Adding fuel to the fire, Recent tragedies involving key figures close to both stars, such as Stephen Twitch, Boss and Anne Hetch, have reignited rumors linking Ellen to Diddy. These incidents, combined with Diddy's current legal troubles, have fans and insiders speculating about deeper, darker connections within Hollywood's elite circles. The entertainment world is no stranger to scandals, and the association between DeGeneres and Diddy is drawing renewed attention in light of these events. Despite the controversies, both Ellen and Diddy have maintained their publicly friendly image. Diddy's appearances on The Ellen DeGeneres Show were frequent and often marked by lighthearted banter. Yet now, the nature of their relationship is being scrutinized like never before, and the entertainment world is left wondering how this will unfold. With Diddy's legal issues continuing to make headlines, Ellen's name being tied to the controversy is creating waves that neither of them may have expected. As more details come to light, fans and media alike are eager to see what, if anything, will be revealed about the connection between Ellen DeGeneres and Diddy and whether their friendship will withstand the growing scrutiny. For now, the truth remains murky, leaving us with more questions than answers. So tell me about your birthday party. Am I invited? Yes. Yes, you're definitely invited. When after Diddy's shocking arrest on charges of misconduct and racketeering, the nature of his relationship with Ellen DeGeneres is under intense scrutiny. Rumors swirling around DeGeneres' Diddy Stephen Twitch, Boss, and Anne Hetch point to a larger issue in Hollywood powerful figures allegedly silencing those who threaten to expose them. DeGeneres has faced her own controversies, including accusations of fostering a toxic work environment on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, while Diddy has been plagued by a series of misconduct allegations, now their connection is raising eyebrows and sparking speculation. Although Twitch's death was officially ruled a suicide, rumors persist that Diddy could be linked to it. Allegedly, Twitch possessed compromising information tied to Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, which are rumored to involve disturbing and illegal activities. Some claim Twitch may have been pressured into attending these events, and that DeGeneres, as Diddy's close ally, could have played a role in pulling him into these dangerous circles. The speculation suggests that Twitch may have been under serious pressure to stay silent about what he knew regarding these secret gatherings, leading to the tragic turn of events. While no concrete evidence has surfaced, the rumors continue to fuel intrigue and suspicion, leaving many wondering what really happened behind the scenes. I love you. I love, I love you too. All right, let's play a game. <laughs> These theories propose that Twitch's insider knowledge about Diddy's infamous parties, along with the potential threat he posed to both DeGeneres and Diddy's carefully crafted public images, might have made him a target. Whether Twitch's death was truly self-inflicted remains a hot topic of debate, especially among those convinced there's more to the story than what's been officially reported. Regardless of what the real truth is, many believe there's still something hidden beneath the surface, fueling ongoing speculation. The public is demanding answers about the deaths of Twitch and Aisha and the nature of the connection between DeGeneres and Diddy these events bring to light the potential dangers of a culture of secrecy and the difficulty of holding influential figures accountable. While there's no solid evidence backing these online theories, the ongoing speculation highlights our never-ending fascination with celebrity lives and the quest for hidden truths in Hollywood. Amidst this frenzy, another secret has emerged under the sharp gaze of the internet, raising new questions about the connection between Diddy and Ellen DeGeneres. 
One particular piece of fuel for this fire is an old tweet from Ellen DeGeneres that has resurfaced, sparking a storm of comments, especially given Diddy's recent legal troubles. The tweet, posted in November 2016, was meant to celebrate the birthday of the musician Sean Diddy Combs, but now in light of the scandals surrounding him, it has taken on new meaning. In the tweet, DeGeneres addressed Diddy by his various well-known nicknames, saying, Happy birthday P, Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs. But it was the second half of the tweet that really caught people's attention. DeGeneres affectionately referred to him as Cuddle Mix Snuggle Stuff and cryptically added, You don't need to know why. This strange, playful comment has since sparked a whirlwind of speculation and curiosity about the true nature of their friendship. Many social media users were left scratching their heads over the tweet, which now feels oddly timed and out of place given the current circumstances. That tweet definitely hasn't aged well, one user commented, while another sarcastically remarked, oh, that aged like fine wine? Ha, huh, others have demanded clarification from the TV host, urging her to spill the tea on what she meant by the message. These reactions underscore the public's shifting perception of DeGeneres' relationship with Diddy, especially in light of the controversies currently surrounding him adding more fuel to the fire. An old clip from the Ellen DeGeneres show has also resurfaced. In this video, Ellen is seen playfully pleading with Diddy to attend one of her parties. During their chat, DeGeneres teased Diddy about his notorious habit of being fashionably late, and she humorously urged him to be on time for her event. Diddy, with his usual cool demeanor, responded that he'd likely be late again, but DeGeneres pressed him not to keep her waiting too long. The playful banter between the two now raises new questions about their relationship, especially in the current climate of scandal. As the drama continues to unfold, the resurfacing of this tweet and video clip has added a new layer to the public's curiosity, leaving many to wonder if there's more to the connection between Ellen DeGeneres and Diddy than meets the eye. You gonna be early for my party? Yes, I am. No. No. <laughs> You know I have to arrive fast. This playful exchange between Ellen DeGeneres and Diddy, filled with light-hearted banter, has now taken on a more mysterious tone in light of the current controversy surrounding Diddy. Fans have been quick to react to the resurfaced clip, which features a casual discussion about Diddy's party habits habits that are now central to the federal case against him. This clip, once seen as harmless fun, now feels unsettling given the serious nature of the allegations against him. Diddy's recent legal troubles have also brought another concerning piece of his past into focus an interview he gave on Late Night with Conan O'Brien in 2002. The comments Diddy made in that interview, once laughed off as jokes, have now resurfaced and are being viewed in a much more critical light. During the interview, Conan asked Diddy how he throws a party, and the rapper's response is now raising eyebrows. Diddy began by listing his party essentials, which included a variety of alcohol and a lot of water. When Conan jokingly asked if the water was for watering plants, Diddy quickly clarified that the women at his parties often drank water and without it, they might leave. He then made a disturbing joke about installing locks on the doors to keep them from leaving. While this comment had the audience laughing back in 2002, today it feels much more troubling in light of the allegations Diddy now faces, particularly those involving coercion and trafficking. As the interview continued, Diddy admitted that his party style was over the top but encouraged O'Brien to embrace the extravagance. He went on to describe how he preferred his party venues to be scorching hot with no air conditioning, explaining that the heat made people more relaxed and loosened up, which builds up a nice little sweat. This description, once meant to sound humorous, has now been interpreted as unsettling, especially given the accusations against him. Conan O'Brien, clearly uncomfortable, didn't hesitate to express his distaste, bluntly stating that Diddy's party plans sounded downright disgusting. In hindsight, this remark now resonates with viewers in a much different way, with many reflecting on how these seemingly innocent comments may have hinted at something far more troubling. In light of these resurfaced clips and interviews, the public is left questioning the true nature of Diddy's parties and the power dynamics at play. What once seemed like harmless celebrity fun now feels tainted by the serious accusations against the music mogul. I don't know if guys have noticed this, like, a lot of ladies drink water at parties. They right. just, you know, so you have to, if you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. Diddy clapped back, emphasizing that it's all about perspective. He teased that his legendary parties are so wild they're always the talk of the town. In fact, they're so intense they could easily get shut down or even end with him in cuffs. But Diddy made one thing clear he's there to have a good time, not stress about what happens next. 
This back and forth only added fuel to the fire, making fans even more curious about just how much influence celebrities like him really wield and how they're using it. Some music fans are now demanding answers, speculating about Diddy's connections and alleged involvement in trafficking. With his name currently in hot water, people are asking who else might be caught up in this mess. As Diddy's reputation takes a hit, word on the street is that some A-list entertainers are feeling the pressure, worried his drama might uncover some of their own secrets. He's been seen partying with big names like Usher and LeBron James, and now whispers are growing that others in his star-studded circle famous musicians, actors are sweating, afraid their names could be next. With countless receipts showing Diddy partying with the rich and famous for decades, questions are swirling about who else might be involved. Could Ellen DeGeneres or others be part of the mix? With Diddy's arrest and investigation ongoing, the spotlight is only getting hotter. Associated with Diddy is making the rounds, especially celebrities who attended his famous white parties and those who were named in lawsuits and allegations, though very few of them have actually been accused of any wrongdoing. Honey, let's talk about Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, the industry's worst-kept secret. His legendary white parties were always packed with the listers, and every year, the guest list had people gagging. While there's no official link between those glamorous soirees and the wilder side of his gatherings, let's not forget the stories spilling out from dancers and former partygoers about what really went down behind the scenes. Think illegal substances and barely-dressed women, much like the freak-offs everyone whispers about. Plenty of celebs have let it slip in past interviews how wild things got when they partied with the bad boy records kingpin. Even Ellen DeGeneres has openly admitted to hitting up Diddy's bashes more than a few times. But baby, the drama is thickening. One of Diddy's former dancers, Adria Sherry English, isn't holding back anymore. She's naming names, spilling her side to the Daily Mail, and even filing a civil lawsuit. Grab your popcorn because things are about to get messy. For their own evil. She didn't hold back, calling Diddy out for all kinds of inappropriate behavior and girl, it's not just Ellen DeGeneres caught up in this drama, other big names are being dragged too. Jay-Z, both a close friend and fellow music mogul, has been a regular at Diddy's infamous gatherings including that legendary white party. And where there's Jay-Z, there's Beyonce's superstar wife who's also been spotted at these over-the-top events. Diddy's extravagant parties have always attracted an illicit crowd. Honey, top-tier celebs became regulars at these lavish events, Leonardo DiCaprio, always mixing it up with the elite. Ashton Kutcher wasn't just a guest, he co-hosted charity events like the 2009 White Party to Fight Malaria. Even the reality TV queens, the Kardashians, made an appearance. Khloe Kardashian spilled on keeping up with the Kardashians about the wild vibe at Diddy's parties. Other regulars included Mariah Carey and Paris Hilton, who both raved about the extravagant scene. And let's not forget Usher. He confessed that things got crazy during his Diddy days and has long been a staple at those glamorous gatherings, rubbing elbows with Diddy and other big names. Even Lady Kitty Spencer, a niece of Princess Diana, has attended high fashion and elite events, including some hosted by or featuring Diddy. This A-list roster shows just how eclectic and high-profile Diddy's inner circle is, blending royalty, celebrities, and influencers effortlessly. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Some noteworthy politicians have also been spotted among the crowd. So who are these political heavyweights and how influential are they? Let's dive into the details. 